Hi everyone, aren't these cute? And what a great way to use up little pieces of fabric that you might have, little fabric scraps. I sell a lot of journals and junk journals and planners and that type of thing at my little flea market shop in the summer. And also I do have some listed on Etsy um, from time to time. I thought these would make a, just a nice little addition. And I like the price point. I'm going to be selling these for $5. So you get three little paper clips for $5. And it's just one of those things that, especially at my flea market shop, I get so many different types of, I don't know, people, a lot of, a lot of tourists. And it's just kind of a fun little pickup thing for a gift. So I thought they would sell well. They'd be a great craft show item also. And so I thought I would show you how I actually make these little yo-yos. It's been around forever, the fabric yo-yos. Uh, so I thought I'd go over just a little basics on that. And then also sh sh how, I'm, how I'm putting them together and this little packaging that I thought turned out nice. It's all in, all in the details. I cut my circles using my, my Sizzix Big Shot. And I'm using the circles die. They have several circles dies. This one has three circles on it, and I'm using the largest, largest one, which actually is about two and a half inches across. And so I'm going to carefully lay my little fabric. This was just a real. This one was partic in particular was just a real small little piece. I want to make sure it completely covers. I always lay my smallest piece on first, so that I know that that one is covering the circle, and then I'll then I can go ahead and just cover the ones with a, maybe a little bit bigger a uh, little bit bigger swatch of fabric. And I can usually cut four at a time. This is just a thin, it's a, it's a quilting fabric, 100% cotton quilting fabric and I do recommend for yo-yos that type of fabric. And I can kind of touch on that a little bit more later. Um, I'm using my sandwiching between my little cutting. My, these are um, have been used well, as you can as you can tell, and running it through my little um, my machine. My machine has been run. I've had this for probably five or six years, and honestly, I use it almost every single day. Okay, and I cut one little thing. Did not cut, and I'm just gonna take my little. And there we go. I've got my four perfectly cut little little circles. And now it's on to creating the little yo-yos. I touched a little bit on the the thread on the fabric. You do want to use fabric that is just a cotton cotton weight, uh, a quilting 100% cotton weight. I uh, also I would not use the batik fabric. They're just really hard to get the needle in and out. The needle that you want to use, I find I find that the thin the thin needles really work the best. And of course you want the eye to be a little bit longer so you can get the thread in easier. And the thread, I'm using a quilting thread, it's a little bit stronger. And I only use maybe, um, this is probably 24 inches, but I, I do have it folded in half and knotted at the end. I find that the two common mistakes that beginners who, who are just starting to do some hand work, they, they use a needle that's too big or too fat. This is a real skinny needle. And they, and they make their thread so long and, and it just causes problems with tangling and whatever. So I would recommend a thin needle, a, a shorter piece of thread. Now, it's funny, my sister-in-law actually made an, a complete quilt top using out of yo-yos. But her yo-yos were a little bit bigger. And, and, norm, and you normally your yo-yos are. But for these cute little paper clips, I love, I love these little ones. So you want to start with, by, fold, by folding your yo-yo over. You take your needle and you put it up from the inside first just to hide that just to hide that knot so that knot is underneath that fold. I hold I'm left-handed so I'm sorry if I'm confusing everybody. You're gonna have to switch it in your head um, to get it to your right hand but I hold my left hand on the top with my needle and my right thumb does the does the turning automatically does the turning and you want to put your needle kind of in the center of the fold and you want to just take little pokes and down, up and down. Um, you want to just kind of keep going. I'm just kind of keep 
turning my little my little um, fold with my one my right thumb my bottom thumb and you just want to keep going up and down now notice on my needle how I'm getting like many many stitches you want to just kind of continue until, until your needle is pretty full and then you can um, pull your thread through and honestly I know this is piddly I do it in front of the TV at night just put on a good movie and just go they really don't take much time once you get once you get the movement down and what kind of once you get your the, the system down I've got quite a few stitches on there now and so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull that through and then you just go ahead and you continue um, you take another stitch and you just can continue going up and down right in the center of that fold I'm going to be continuing around this and when I get to the end I'll show you the little knot that I make to kind of secure it I'm all the way around and I have this cute little almost looks like an inside little bonnet you want to take it and turn it this is a little bit one of these these little yo-yos this is probably this is a little bit tricky because you want to kind of flatten them out and get the all the little corners out you want to pull your thread as tight as you can get it and you just kind of keep working it working it so cute though I'm gonna take one little stitch a backwards kind of like a backward stitch just to kind of secure that and then because these are just going to be little paper clip yo-yos that are, are going to have some glue on the back of it I'm going to just take this needle I'm going to poke it all the way down and through the center kind of work it and then I'm just going to tie I'm just going to do a little just one little knot on the back side maybe taking it to, through twice and pulling that tight and clipping that and there you have it you have your little yo-yo the next step is to get the hot glue gun plugged in and I'll show you the easy steps and how to create the packaging and sticking the little a paper clip on the back I am using the Sizzix die cut called button card to create my little cards it cuts it cuts it out measuring four and three fourths by three and a half and it looks like it has like a half inch quarter round corners so you can certainly cut your own but I am using I'm using my, my, my so they're just exact and it's so quick I'm using my my big shot to cut them I can get six cards off of each piece of um, double-sided 12 by 12 card stock so I'm just gonna go ahead I'm cutting these at four inch at four inches I'm cutting um, three strips at four inches And then I can go ahead and I can bring out my big shot again and I can usually cut oh probably about three layers of this heavier cardstock with this but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to just cut two two at a time and just run that through you're gonna hear that cracking noise it's fine okay two cute little cards the next thing I do is I, I keep I keep all of this this scrap and I cut three little circles using my 5 8 inch punch this is just to cover up the back of the paper clip once you've glued it. I like to use the same cardstock as the packaging. I score the cards at three and a half inches and then go ahead and fold them up. 
So that's pretty much it for the packaging. I do stick it in a little celly bag and I sell them, I keep them in the bag. It just really, it just really helps keep it, keeping them together for the packaging. And these are four by five inches, fit really well with these cards. I'm using um, two inch gold paper clips. And let's see, get the three little yo-yos that I have made up here. You want to make sure, of course, that you're going to be gluing. You don't want to glue this side. You want to put, put it up here. One little, this goes so quick, but one little dot of glue on your fabric. I'm using a low temp. You want to stick your little paper clip down and then you want to go ahead and cover it with your cardstock. It's kind of all in one step. Um, and if I'm going to stick maybe a little more, just another little dot of glue. I don't like too much glue because it gets messy, but you want to make sure you have enough. And that's it. And then you can go ahead and you can stick it on your little little card. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to keep going here because I've got a lot to do. And I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have a chance to create today and have a good one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.